वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स अगेन टू माई चैनल जियो टेक्निकल एंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स इन टूडेज मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड एज वी आर डेवलपिंग ऑल ओवर द अर्थ ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वी आर सींग दैट मैनी मेजर स्ट्रक्चर्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल प्रोजेक्ट्स आर कमिंग एंड ऑफ ग्रेट साइज एंड वॉल्यूम एंड इन इन दिस कंटेक्सट अर्थक्वेक लिक्यूफैक्शन इंड्यूस्ड अर्थक्वेक इज ऑल्सो अ फेनामिना टू बी डेल्ट विद सीरियसली लिक्यूफैक्शन इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन एंड मैकेनिज्म सैंड बॉयज एंड वर्ल्ड फेमस फेलियोर्स ड्यू टू अर्थक्वेक इंड्यूस्ड लिक्यूफैक्शन विल बी माई टूडेज टॉपिक इन दिस चैनल ऑफ माइंड जियो टेक्निकल एंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स अब वॉट इज लिक्यूफैक्शन लिक्यूफैक्शन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरेस्टिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल टॉपिक इन जियो टेक्निकल अर्थक्वेक इंजीनियरिंग द वर्ड द टर्म लिक्यूफाइड वॉज फर्स्ट यूज बाई हेजेन इन रेफरेंस टू नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन फेलियोर ऑफ द कैलेवेरास डैम इन कैलिफोर्निया अब नाउ if i start introducing you people to the term liquefaction liquefaction has been confirmed as occurring in at least 44 earthquakes in japan since 1872 however it was the year 1964 when two major earthquakes of alaska united states of america with its magnitude on richter scale as 9.2 and niigata japan with its magnitude as 7.5 on richter scale came within a short span of 3 months of one another and they shook the engineering profession all over the world and brought liquefaction to the forefront of interest because of the spectacular damage that occurred resulting in the liquefaction caused destruction producing lots and lots of settlements in too many buildings in these two countries at these very places where this liquefaction caused Where this liquefaction-induced earthquake caused massive damage to the structures. What they did? They produced lots of settlements up to several feet beneath the full raft foundations, etc., of the buildings, and caused as well severe tilting up to 80 degrees or overturning of structures as as well as. what they induced they induced flow failures washing away large sections of the towns of seward bitier and valdez in united states of america this has been known worldwide and you will get to know about this if you go into depth in this very literature now what is liquefaction liquefaction is actually defined as the loss of strength and stiffness in saturated cohesion less so as may be it uh, they are partially saturated or fully saturated because of increased pore water pressures and hence reduced effective stresses due to earthquake shaking or any other rapid dynamic loading but in this very context we are discussing about the earthquake shaking and its after effects only now what happens in saturated soils saturated soils are the soils in which the spaces between individual particles are completely filled with water the water when earthquake comes exerts a pressure on the soil particles the low water pressure before the occurrence of earthquake increases to an extent after its occurrence such that it reduces the contact forces between the individual soil particles causing its softening and weakening that is the softening and weakening of the soil deposit such that the soil particles start readily moving with respect to one another like a liquid they come into a liquefied state now coming over to my next slide what is the mechanism of liquefaction here i am depicting you 
three figures in which the first one is the soil grains in the soil deposit the second one is the length of the arrows represent where they represent the size of the contact forces between the individual soil grains and the third one in which these forces become too small which are being depicted by small arrow sizes that occurs that happens because of the high water pressure so now what is the mechanism of soil liquefaction soil is an assemblage of many soil particles which stay in contact with many neighboring soil particles the contact forces produced by the weight of the overlying particles because as we go deeper into depth that is the effect of the surcharge they hold the individual soil particles in its place and provide the soil with the necessary shear strength now liquefaction occurs as a result of rapid load application and breakdown of the loose saturated sands after earthquake when loosely packed individual soil particles try moving into denser configuration however there is not enough time for this pore pressure of the soil to be squeezed out during earthquake instead the water is trapped trapped and prevents the soil particles from moving closer together that is they try to put the soil in a condition that it behaves like water liquid liquefied soil thus there is an increase in water pressure which reduces the contact forces between the individual soil particles because of high water pressure in turn in turn what they do in turn they the in turn the effective stress of soil the effective stress of soil is reduced to essentially zero which corresponds to a complete loss of the shear strength of the soil this is liquefaction Up now, coming over to my next slide. Sand boils is a very common term discussed in reference to liquefaction. How it is being shown? You are seeing two pictures, two images of the sand boils. The manifestation most commonly associated with liquefaction is the formation of sand boils. The phenomena. this phenomena may incorporate both flow of already liquefied sand from a layer below ground coming upwards and the quicksand effect whereby upward flow of water initiates liquefaction in overlying non liquefied sandy deposits due to buoyancy that is jo hamari what were the sand layers ya uh, soil layers are there उसमें दिस टू टाइप ऑफ फेनामिना क्रिएट द सॉइल बॉयल सैंड बॉयल्स कंडीशन नाउ कमिंग ओवर टू माय बॉटम मोस्ट द सेकंड पैराग्राफ ऑफ दिस साइड बियरिंग कैपेसिटी फेलियर्स इलस्ट्रेटिव ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ फेलियर वर रिपोर्टेड ड्यूरिंग द 1964 निगाता जापान अर्थक्वेक वेयर सेवरल हाई राइज अपार्टमेंट बिल्डिंग्स रोटेटेड एंड सबसाइडेड इनटू द लिक्विफाइड सॉइल this has been proven and said by sidan idris 1967 and we found that railroad embankments especially the ashigo line subsided into the liquefied grounds this was proven by kobayashi in 1969 now coming over to my next slide few past major incidents of earthquake liquefaction just to create the interest about the subject topic i am referring to these 9 or 10 past major incidents of earthquake liquefaction alaska earthquake 1964 united states of america niigata uh, earthquake japan 1964 loma prita earthquake united states of america 1989 kobe earthquake japan 1995 chichi earthquake taiwan 1999 bhuj earthquake in india 2001 causing massive damage to structures and loss of life and property in the gujarat state of india predominantly tsunami india 2004 everybody knows the devastating effects of tsunami which came and covered many island nations of asia and as well as uh, created some impact on india's uh, 
port sea side region near the andaman nicobar islands etc and kerala etc afterwards canterbury new zealand 2010 christchurch new zealand 2011 earthquake were one of the very major earthquakes where liquefaction and new destruction was made known to the people after the research was done research works were done now what famous failures i will be showing you certain pictorial representations of this word famous failures alaska displacement of houses and cracked highways niigata tilting and overturning of apartment buildings niigata multi span bridge failure because of movement of piers due to lateral loading this i will be displaying you with this figures in next slides of mine Loma Prieta, California, sand boil, scope, collapse of Nishinomiya Bridge, bridge cracked, split open ground, tsunami, India, foundation failure in Kerala, Canterbury, liquefied soil exerting high pressure on retaining walls, causing them to tilt or slide, damage in Brookfield, Canterbury, buoyancy caused by soil liquefaction, pushing underground surfaces, including manholes, they came out floating like anything on the roads. Crisis, the effect of lateral spreading on river road. Now, friends. If you like this channel of mine, you please subscribe to my channel because in the next lecture of mine, I will be covering the factors affecting the liquefaction, the type of liquefaction induced failures, which are commonly known as lateral spreads, <coughs> flow failures, loss of bearing capacity, and some other failures. and i will be as well discussing with you the most commonly prone areas where liquefaction may cause lots and lots of destruction as well as how it behaves how it creates the failure of different civil engineering structures this would be my next lecture in this very subject topic now coming over to the picturization the effects of these world famous failures the images the first image shows The Alaska earthquake, United States of America, 1964. Displacement of houses and cracked highways. This kind of picture you can show in the one of the recent earthquakes which hit Nepal also. In uh, say about six seven years back. Now Niigata earthquake, Japan, 1964. You can very well see the tilting and overturning of the apartment buildings being built on RCC. Reinforcement concrete full red foundations. They are some of them have tilted a little bit. Some of them have tilted all throughout. Means they tilted and came to the ground falling down with their foundations. Now the next, the last picture of this slide is very important. This 1964 Niigata earthquake multi-span bridge failed because of the movement of piers due to lateral spreading. this has been very well worked out and researched and papers have been brought on the failure of this very bridge now coming over to my next slide this is the sand boils in loma prieta earthquake 1989 in california you see the ships floating the structures floating on the ground this is what actually the sand boils is now the kobe earthquake japan 1995 collapse of nishinomiya bridge Number third is again the cracked split open ground bridge 2001. This happens. This happens when this kind of earthquake and usually liquefaction occurs, creating kilometers long cracks, wide split open, coming to the floor and to the ground. Now, this is the foundation failure in Kerala during tsunami. A single story structure, very light story structure, but came floating. This was. Picture on December twenty six two thousand four. Now, <clears throat> the Canterbury, New Zealand, two thousand ten earthquake. You can see the kind of damages here. Now, the liquefied soil exerts high pressure on retaining walls, causing them to tilt or slide. This is the sea side structure, port structures. How the soil caused lateral spreads and these structures failed. Now, this is almost the last slide of my. lecture 
डैमेज इन ब्रुक फील्ड टू थाउजेंड टेन कैंटरबरी अर्थक्वेक वेयर बॉयसी कॉज बाई सोलिकेशन पोस्ट ऑफ एन अंडरग्राउंड सर्विस इंक्लूडिंग दैन हाउस एक्सेट्रा दीवर दाइन केम आउट फ्लोटिंग ऑन द रोड नाउ द इफेक्ट ऑफ लेटर स्पेटिंग रिवर रोड इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन क्राइस्ट चर्च अर्थक्वेक रोड सीम्स टू बी बिहेविंग लाइक अ रिवर आफ्टर द सॉइल लिक्यूफाइज नाउ द लास्ट लाइफ the last picture the effect of liquefaction in christchurch new zealand during the magni- uh, during the earthquake of magnitude on richter scale 6.3 february 2011 christchurch earthquake cars came down because of this cars ke the tires of the cars the cars settled in the ground due to liquefaction now dear friends hope you would have liked this lecture of mine keep on subscribing to my channel YouTube channel Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. I have decided to cover this liquefaction topic first because later on I will be discussing in my pile foundation chapters about how this liquefaction affect the pile capacities. Okay, now this is for the reference of everyone. I have taken these images from this. link address of wikipedia can't see to them i could explain with the help of images very nicely this lecture of mine namaskar and thank you now coming again to my previous slide you can see on these slides of mine i have written my linkedin uh, address at the bottom of this slides some slides so you can see you can connect to me with your suggestions etc on my linkedin connect connection as well as you can share your comments suggestions for future lectures on my youtube channel which is being written on the bottom of these slides this is just for the purpose of showing you the slides again namaskar and thank keep on subscribing to my channel thank you